So I wanted to tell y'all that I have been having an issue with moths in my pantry. Now you may be laughing and be like, oh my gosh, moths? Like moths are no big deal. Well, that's what I thought too, but apparently this type of moth loves pantries because it has like grains and things like that. Come to find out these moths have like invaded my pantry and laid their eggs in all of my grain stuff, which in turn turns into like little bitty worms. And I had to throw out so much food over the last few weeks. So much food that like, it's very sad. Um, I grocery shop once a month. I don't know if y'all know that about me, but I only grocery shop once a month. I do go back halfway through for like milk or fresh produce. But other than that, all my grains, breads, snacky foods, meats, it's all done in like month quantities. Um, so I, I bulk buy. So having to throw away like pounds and pounds of rice or bread, like it really sucked. So let me show y'all. Okay, so my pantry is kind of bare because I've had to throw away so much. Um, so I had to get glass jars for my rice, which isn't a big deal. I mean, I like them anyways. Um, I have basmati rice right here, the brown, and then just like long grain. But in the bags, you could like see the little worms. And I was like, oh my God, I was freaking out. Um cereals like even though I have this in its container they can still get in that it has to be like glass and like seal proof and that is like not entirely seal proof I have one right here full of pretzels but like it's just like a flip top you know what I mean um bags like this they got in they got in in all of my English muffins and my breads um these are new so they're not in there um they got in tortillas like anything and everything cart any kind of cardboard boxes they got in like this was in a cardboard box but since it was like sealed up really good nothing was in there um it just it was kind of devastating because i lost so much food granola bars and things like that they weren't in there so it was fine um so yeah so that sucked so if you ever deal with them just know that they are <laughs> extremely hard to get rid of um, I actually made, um, I don't want to use any too harsh of chemicals, obviously, because this is food. Um, I could take all the food out, but yeah, anyways. So I mixed up some water with a little bit of vinegar and um, peppermint oil, and it, it's fine. I mean, I think it's doing its job. I have to spray my pantry daily, um... And I still have been seeing some moths, which are like really disheartening. But as soon as I see them, I either kill them or I suck them up with a vacuum. Um, so yeah, I just, it sucks. And if anybody has dealt with them, apparently they're called like Indian moths or something. And they're like an invasive species or something. I don't know. That is what Google told me. So if anybody has dealt with them, I would love some tips and tricks. Um, if they don't go away soon i think i am gonna have to just like fog my house um, or fog my pantry which is not gonna be good i have to take all the food out re-wipe it all down which is what i've already done a million times i wipe this stuff down daily Ugh, it's just a lot so what i do is i shake this bottle up and i just spray like all the nooks and crannies with all of this up into there and you can see it's like all dripping down I have to do that daily I do over here I do that I get up under here oh yeah just this stuff won't harm any of my food products so that's why I use it I can't really reach up there too well. Oh, and another thing, I leave this pantry door open because they like really dark uh, spaces. And if I leave this door open for now, I haven't had a problem. But as soon as I close this freaking door, they come back. So there's another tip. Just leave your door open for a while until you can get rid of them. her little babies she has kept all seven alive and i'm 
I'm really surprised by that and I'm really happy about that. She's a really good mama. Huh, Barbara? She really is. She is so sweet with her little babies. You might be wondering what this fence is. That's actually where my dogs are. <laughs> but they don't mess with the chickens. I know, surprisingly enough, they don't mess with them. See how little babies. We have some more chickens over here. My rooster, I think, low-key, keeps trying to attack me. So I have to keep my eye on him. <sighs> Let's hope he doesn't. Because I am carrying my two-year-old. So let's hope he don't get no bright ideas. I wanted to show y'all this. You probably can't see it too well because it actually blends in really nice on camera. But this is a whole bunch of feathers. Um, so. So, yeah, bad news. Um, the other day, um, my husband put the chickens up. And he didn't realize that the coop door was open. He just closed like the gate, like the run. All he didn't know. So in the morning, everything happens in the early dawn or dusk. That's why you should never let your chickens out before dawn or dusk or close to dawn and dusk. Um, all my chickens were out because the coop door was open. And so that morning when he was getting ready for work, he woke me up and he was like, I forgot to close the door. The chickens are out. And I was like, oh my gosh. So we got up and I came outside and I noticed I only had three barred rocks and I normally have four barred rocks. I didn't see this these feathers until the next day. So that really confirms that something got my chicken. Not sure what got her though. Um, I mean, it was the next day, so it's not like I could probably see any tracks. The feathers kind of go that way. But, I mean, I don't know. I couldn't tell you what got her. I'm guessing probably like a coyote or something. That seems to be what it normally is. But this is like the edge of our property. And all of this over here is just woods. So, there's some feathers right there. So, I mean, I wouldn't even see that whatever it was, whether it was a fox coyote it would have taken her pretty far so because that's just all woods so I have some first Saturday lawn right here and I'm just going to sprinkle a generous amount all over the bottom of these pans mm. and in the nesting boxes. Hey, baby. Okay, all clean. They are too cute. Y'all are scared of my camera? <laughs> they look all female to me. Maybe that one down there, that little barred rock is a boy. All of the other ones look female to me, which is good. But anyways, I changed out this water and this one. They are nice and clean. Look, there's a little sister over there. <laughs> So this is an old garden that we have. You can tell because it has like a whole bunch of old little planters that my kids play with. But these little chickens, these are the ones that are from, from um, Finn's flock. They love hanging out right here. 
He's like, why can't I get in there with my friends? They are so cute. They're dust bathing in there right now. <laughs> I'll help you. Look, Jackson, nope. Get back. There you go.